Hey guys, what's happening? Chris here with another Doom Weapon Guide today, and in this one I'll be covering that hell shot in online multiplayer. You can only use the gun in multiplayer, just like the lightning gun, vortex, burst and static rifles, and you'll have to first reach the rank of 6 to acquire it. The hell shot is a very unique weapon, and is definitely one of the trickier ones to master, down to accuracy playing a huge role in the way it functions. It's essentially a crossbow from hell that fires Argent Energy Bolts in a semi-automatic fashion, dealing damage for every bolt that lands on target. Its secondary firing mode on the other hand functions in a similar way to the primary, though instead of firing bolts you'll be able to launch an incendiary round that burns enemies over time once it lands on them. Though these incendiary rounds do have a short cooldown time for them to be used again. Both the primary and secondary mode share the same ammunition pool and only take one ammo per shot. Upon spawning into the match, you'll be given 30 rounds to play with, though this figure can be doubled up to 60 by going for those crates. But running out of ammo probably won't be as much of a problem as it is with some of the other guns, because of its semi-auto nature. Anyway, let's go over what the hell shot is all about. So firstly, its primary firing mode shoots high velocity projectiles with each dealing 20 damage for a body shot and 35 with a hit to the head. The Hellshot itself functions a lot like the Burst Rifle Single Shot Weapon mod, though it's stronger and can take away more health quicker. It can fire 3 shots per second whilst tapping the trigger, so in theory it's fully capable of dealing 60 damage per second and 105 if all of those are headshots. This is pretty damn powerful, and in the hands of an experienced player, it can out damage most of the other weapons in the game, with that high damage per second. There's no damage drop off over range, and its bolts are very accurate with very little travel time, as the shots are fired at a fairly high velocity, meaning you don't have to lead targets much over distance. Wherever you're aiming, that bolt is going to pretty much land bang on every time, and with very little delay as it flies through the air, this is essential for hitting targets to deal that damage. On paper, the Hellshot sounds like a beast of a weapon, and one that everyone is going to want to use. But its true weaknesses lie on its ease of use, as although it may sound like one of the most powerful guns in the game, it's probably the hardest weapon to use, as you're going to have to be extremely accurate to do well. And in a game with fast moving targets and a load of other bullet spewing damage spamming machines to pick from, the Hellshot is often pushed to the side and neglected. There's no denying that it does take some practice to get better with, and down to you having to be so bloody accurate all the time to land shots, it can often seem like an inconsistent weapon to roll with. Damage isn't always guaranteed, and if you miss too many shots in a one on one battle, you're probably going to end up being splattered all over a nearby wall. It requires more skill than a lot of other guns, but in the hands of an accurate player, it has the potential to lay waste. The Hellshot is a gun designed for mid to long range combat, with the only other weapons in the game that can truly outmatch it being the Vortex and Static Rifles. If used on enemies at longer distances, you'll find that the Hellshot works a bit better, as you can strafe around with smaller movements to get on target easier. Plus, your opponent is most likely not going to be able to deal as much damage on you at a longer range unless they have a Vortex Rifle equipped. All it takes is 5 successful hits for the Hellshot to down a player with 100 health. And at range, not only is this damage easier to inflict, but it's also a lot harder for your enemy to kill you, with a lot of the more popular guns in the game being optimised for CQC. If you reserve the Hellshot for longer range firefights, then you're more likely to do better with it, switching over to a close quarter friendly weapon whenever an enemy gets a bit too close for comfort. Try not to spam your shots and fire as fast as you can, as it's often better to line them up and take your time placing those bolts onto targets one by one. Because there's usually a bit of distance between you and your enemy, this gives you time to make sure that your shots are going to land and impact their health. The health shot can still be effective at closer ranges, but you'll have to be very accurate and every shot matters, as you'll likely be up against a lot of high damage CQC weapons. It's often best to wait for your targets to run through the crosshair before firing, if they're moving in a predictable way. Try using your own movements to strafe around to get on target, and use their own movements against them as they move side to side, firing whenever they enter your crosshair. So as for that weapon mod, the Hellshot can fire an incendiary round that deals damage over time on whoever it hits. This damage can last up to 4 seconds upon impact, dishing out damage every half second, with the first second dealing 18 damage, 9 per half second, and then 5 after this every half second. Though this damage can be stopped at any time if your opponent runs over a health pack. Most of the time, over the course of 4 seconds, a total of 48 damage will be dealt overall. And because you can actively use your primary fire to gun down opponents whilst the incendiary round is taking effect, this allows you to rapidly deplete their health over the course of time. If you know an enemy is very low on health as it is, you could always use the weapon mod on them and then retreat behind cover, for it to work on its own and kill them. 
The incendiary shot has a lower velocity than your standard bolts, making it a bit harder to land over distance due to a longer travel time. And so you might have to lead targets a tad more and shoot slightly in front of them if they're moving. Because the weapon mod does damage over time, it's usually best using it first on an opponent and then finishing them off with standard bolts. As the combination of the incendiary effect combined with normal shots will reduce health a lot quicker and ultimately kill a lot faster too. The incendiary rounds do have a cooldown time and can only be fired once every 6 seconds or so. So you're going to have to be a bit more careful and precise when it comes to aiming them, but a direct hit will definitely benefit you and help to lower an enemy's health over time. Now when it all boils down to picking secondary weapons, due to the Hellshot being a more useful gun for longer range firefights, CQC weapons are probably going to be the best match to help you out for when another player gets too close, making the Hellshot a lot harder to use. Shotguns are pretty good for bringing along for this reason, as they'll allow you to blast away a target weakened by the Hellshot, who wants to advance on your position, thinking that they can catch you out. Though something like the chain gun could also be a good match too, as it's the total opposite to the Hellshot, being a weapon that can spam the damage and do better against nearby enemies also. And so it might help you out for when your Hellshot bolts just don't want to land on target and when an opponent wants to stray too close too. So the Hellshot is one of those guns that rewards skill and allows an accurate player to deal sustained damage over distance, providing their own target. It might seem to suck at times, especially when up against a lot of other fast firing guns in close quarters. But by keeping a bit of distance from your enemies, and by placing shots one by one on your targets, you can quickly wipe away health and kill them before they get to you. Swapping over to a CQC weapon can often save your life whenever another player gets too close. Though if you're accurate enough and can get used to the way the hell shot works, you might even be able to take on your enemies at closer ranges too, with the gun dealing a high amount of damage for successful hits. It's definitely not a weapon for everyone, and it might seem like a bit of a pain in the arse to do well with at times, but if you're careful and you can line your shots up properly, then the Hellshot might be worth adding onto a loadout, especially if you fancy a bit of a challenge. Anyway, that just about wraps this one up. If you enjoyed the guide, let me know by hitting that like button, and subscribe for loads of other weapon guides and other stuff on my channel too. Take it easy guys, and I'll see you in that next one.